What's going on, FG fam? Do any of you remember a time when Madden had an expansion draft in their game? Well, I do, and we're going to take a look at it today. That's right. That's what we're doing today. We are going to look at an expansion draft in a little old game called Madden 2002, the only Madden to ever have an expansion draft, and that is coming up right now. Don't go anywhere. Madden 2002, one of my favorite Maddens of all time. And the main reason why is because it is the only Madden to feature expansion. Now we're going to take a look at some other things in this game. As you can see, it's a very, very simple menu, but it does, as you can see there, have create a team. There are, of course, a lot of game modes, none of which are Madden Ultimate Team, which... You know, it was a simpler time and a better time, in my opinion. Here is Create a Team. We're going to take a look at what you can do here. The Milwaukee Bobcats, Lincoln Bulldogs. These are preset teams that are already in there. Of course, you can put your own city, your own state. Just pick one of these logos. Tons of good logos to choose from. I do love the Demon logo. I believe I created a team called the Monsters back in the day with that logo. As you can see, just really good logos. Some pretty darn good cities, too. A lot of cities that don't actually have NFL teams. Anchorage Freeze, that was definitely an interesting one. They have the Des Moines Wildcats. I mean, Madden 02, they have pretty limited logos. 03 and 04 got better as time went on with even more logos to really choose from. But... You can also choose what team roster you want that team to take over. So you would have to pick this, and then if you were going to put that team into a franchise, you would replace the team that you chose the roster of if you wanted all the original players in just your own new team. It's kind of a way to do relocation in this game, in a way, creating your own storyline. But you turn around, you make your own stadium right here. You can see I chose Diagonal Stripes. You can go through, you create your own jersey. Obviously, it's simple. There's a lot of limited options. It being a, you know, nearly 20-year-old game at this point. But still, better than current day, as you can do these things with your team that you could not do back in the day. But here, as we go into franchise mode to show you some of this, here's an expansion draft. You see it there. You can take salary cap off, cap penalties, coaching changes. There are coaching changes in this game. Coaches get fired. You can take over new teams. You could do, technically speaking, a little bit of a coach carousel in this. Take multiple teams throughout your franchise run. But there is an expansion draft, and we're just going to choose any old team here. We're going to choose the Jags just because Tom Coughlin happened to like him as a head coach. But here you go up in the top corner. It even tells you year one franchise. You have to sim through year number one in order to get to the expansion draft. So that's what we're going to do. Obviously, this is sped up a little bit, but actually the simulation in this game is a lot faster than Madden 21. You have to sit there for like five minutes on Madden 21. This actually took exactly three minutes and 10 seconds to do. I know I ended the video, but we're going to go ahead. This is simulating the playoff in real time. I am not speeding that up, and it went really quickly. Madden does not do that anymore. 31-10, Rams win the Super Bowl over the Broncos. Congratulations there. The Rams should have won way more Super Bowls back in these days with Kurt Warner, Isaac Bruce, Torrey Holt, Marshall Falk. Just an absolutely unstoppable team. But we move ahead into the offseason. And in this game, you could look ahead. NFL draft info, they gave you the overalls of the players. Look at this, a 93 overall kicker is available in the draft. You have an 83 overall quarterback, an 80 overall left guard. You get to see the speeds ahead of time. A lot of slow players at the top. But that's something you could do ahead of time. Retired players, as you take a look, they had career-ending injuries as J.R. Redmond at 23 years old. 
hurt for the rest of his career. Another thing new Maddens do not have. Holdouts. Zach Weigert holding out on the Jaguars, wanting more money. As you can see, it's quite a bit more money than anyone even would want to give him. Extra years, he wants a long-term contract. He wants the checkbook opened up. You could really only pay what the exact player wanted in the first place, but, you know, like I said, simple, but a better time. Now, you could choose here to make a new coach to be the expansion team, or you can make yourself it, which is what I did, Tom Coughlin, and I chose the creative team. Now, you can build a new creative team here, but I'm going to load up the freaks that we already have made and put that through. So here is the freaks coming into the league as they now load the draft info. Here's what is available in the expansion draft. You ready for this? You ready? Oh, my God. It is absolutely horrific. A 61 overall is the best player we can get. So we are going to speed through this. I'm going to take a couple of these young players here, but look at this. This is even worse than the te what the Texans actually got when they came into the league. At least they got Tony Baselli. I mean, gross. This is gross what we have here to uh, pick up. Absolutely terrible. So we're going to speed through this, all of these absolutely awful players that are actually here. But it's still impressive, but this is kind of a way, you know, I guess you can liken it to NCAA and a walk-ons only dynasty or whatever, or, you know, Madden Death Rebuild. Shout out to my boy Elmers, who does some of those on Twitch. There is definitely uh, a challenge placed with this kind of a start to a franchise. And me, just to make it as OP as possible, I went ahead and signed all of these great players that are in free agency because, you know, cap room aplenty when you sign a bunch of bums to your squad. I also traded away a bunch of bums to not have a full roster so that I could go ahead and sign these players just because, you know, I, I do what I do. And I like what I do, you know what I mean? I like to, to manipulate the game, especially these older games, because they were very easily manipulated back in the day, and I had a lot of fun doing that in high school. And this kind of made me feel like a kid again, so I went ahead and I did that. Now, if this is something you guys would perhaps want to see, maybe as a live stream series here on YouTube, or even on Twitch, or... Even maybe, I don't know, if you guys want to see a Sim franchise as a video series, something that could be a, a bit of a mini-series on the channel, I don't know. Let me know that in the comments section below if you want to see me do something like this or maybe keep it harder and not sign people in free agency year one. Just go ahead and draft the players that I can. As you can see, the freaks, a lot of things available. They don't specifically need quarterback but i mean how could you let an 83 quarterback just pass you by we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and yeah i, th I think we've got to draft them now i mean well i looked at running back to see what was potentially available but i think you've got to take the 83 overall quarterback it'd be just stupid not to do that over at left guard they've got a really good player available here at left guard in cook there's also a really nice right outside linebacker, though, for defense. We're going to take Cook for the blocking, of course. And then, of course, the right outside linebacker just sitting there for us. So a good round one. I, like I said, I traded away a lot of people. And I had some first-round picks I had to go ahead and use. Now, there's another guard there that could certainly continue to help out the offensive line. There's also an 86-speed safety. And that could really, really help out the defense. So we're going to go ahead and take him. Then the kicker is still there. So is this fullback who could be really, really nice. Ooh, 98 breaking tackles. Oh, man, do we take him second round? A second round fullback? Is that something we want to do? Do we go right guard and, and have two great guards on our offensive line? I mean, there are decisions aplenty here. we got to take the 93 kicker, right? That might be the main way to score points. If we, I mean, if I was to do a franchise like this. Took a wide receiver because he had speed. Still fullbacks aplenty there. Kind of passing them up right now. Looking to really shore up some other potential parts of this team there's another wide receiver with decent speed a running back now we're getting a little low here we're getting pretty low i don't know that i want to take somebody that low down the totem pole this guy's a 64 
We got a 69 overall. We're going to take Shepard. Hoping the fullback's still around. He's still here in the third round. That guard's still there as well. The drafting in this is kind of weird. If you knew the overalls of these players, why would you not pick a guy like this? I, we just took a 99 speed receiver because, you know, that was there. And now the fullbacks are gone. Darn it. I wanted the fullback. No. <laughs> All right. So there's no fullback. I waited too long. Fifth round was too long. Do we take a, Do we take a shot on a punter? I mean, we don't have a punter on the team. It's a 47 overall, but, like, why not? I mean, hell. We needed a punter, right? So draft is now over. Signing the draft picks is you're, you know, you're relatively limited here. They're going to force you into whatever they want you to potentially pay here for however many years they're asking you to pay here. So you're kind of strapped at the hands of the rookie, which is the one thing that uh, I guess back in the day is pretty realistic because they used to really get what they wanted way back when, which is why Jamarcus Russell is such a colossal, colossal bust. But, of course, all the contracts back then were much cheaper. We are talking near 20 years ago. So, yeah, of course. Victor Curtis, that's a really good price, I think, for Curtis. A million ten for a couple of years for 74 safety, who's probably, you know, top 20 strong safety in the league at very least right now already. It's definitely going to be a starter for us. Then the kicker, of course, probably already one of the best kickers in the NFL just out of being drafted as a 93 overall. This is one thing I do like about this game is that they occasionally throw a really awesome player like that. I mean, and of course, you know, there are people that are like that in real life that come out into the league. They're immediately amazing. I don't know that it's always that kicker, but, you know, we'll take it. Ian Shepard, uh, fastest running back I could really take there. The 97 speed receiver is, of course, a guy. We would sign all of these guys up. Why wouldn't you just sign all your rookies? But you can see how hard the negotiation process is. It really is. You just find the price that the guy actually wants now because I am so cheap and penny pitching. That is exactly why, you know, it takes forever for me to actually make these signings versus just giving them what they want in the first place. But we signed the punter for a year. Just to give him a chance, you got to give him a shot to prove himself, right? Maybe not. I mean, maybe we go ahead and, and sign somebody. But this is the final roster that I came up with with this expansion team. Now, it might be a little OP for an expansion team. I ain't going to lie. But it, this isn't something that if we were to decide that we wanted to see this, that I couldn't, you know, start over and make it a little more, I guess, quote, unquote, realistic, if that's something people wanted to see. I don't know about playing games, though. The gameplay, of course, a little, you know, retro. If you're into that, that's cool. Let me know. If you don't want to see gameplay, you want to see, like, a sim, a little sim mini series. that's something I can probably put together. Uh, let me know that in the comment section. Or if you're not interested at all, let me know that too. Because trust me, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I'm just trying to uh, grasp at straws and see if there's something that I can come up with for some more content on the channel, basically, until, you know, Madden 22 rolls around. And of course, we have our yearly franchise there. But since I'm pretty much done with Madden 21 and it's already run its course for me, I'm looking for other things. And obviously, this channel's kind of built on Madden and old Maddens, in my opinion, just better than the newer Maddens, of course, more consistently. So it's something that we would have an opportunity to potentially do as this Bryce guy just can't catch. As you can see that there, 62 ugh, catching. He does have great speed, but man, he cannot catch. Marcus Pollard, the veteran back in the day. Tight ends did not have a lot of speed in this game. They also really killed speeds on guards and centers and stuff like that. 49 speeds and stuff like that. I guess that's a little bit more realistic. The speed disparity was a lot in this game. So picking high speed players was definitely something you wanted to do back in these days. Rating system was just completely different. And honestly, I preferred the rating system the way it was here because the speed disparity was real. I mean, there are guys that are that much faster than the next guy. You know what I mean? And that's how guys like Tyreek Hill really do what they do. We got Fisk here on the team, 79 overall. I went ahead and signed him. Jason Gilden, one of the faster outside linebackers, went ahead and brought him in. Our rookie D tackle, only 75 strength thought he was going to be a little bit better than that 
but that's fine. Middle linebacker Jamie Duncan brought him in. He was available. We had our rookie right outside linebacker here with 71 speed. Keith Newman we brought in in free agency in case we weren't going to get a guy like uh, Gordon, but we were able to get him in. Tony Gordon. Kind of seems like my guy Troy Gordon. Hmm. Shout out to my boy Troy Gordon. He's been a subscriber to the channel for a really long time. Dwayne Washington, 79 overall. He's got 88 speed. We've we've got pretty slow corners here and pretty terrible ones. Sean Wooden, pretty nice free safety, actually. And, you know, decent speed, 83 speed. Of course, the rookie with more speed. Our strong safeties are really good, though. We got Curtis, who's a really good player, and 86 speed. Got pretty good awareness as well for a rookie. Man, he, he really looks like he could come in and just play really well off the bat. Really nice jumping as well. Tackling is not there. That is the weakness, and that's kind of what we've got to improve on him, of course. Now, back in these days, they did not have the mini camps yet because those are incredible. That, that was brought on in Madden 2004, which is a game that I have been streaming a little bit on Twitch from time to time. So if you want to check that out, make sure you check out my Twitch, which is in the description below. The Discord is also there if you'd like to join and connect more with the community, maybe be a, more of a part of Discord polls, kind of get notifications for when videos come out, when I live stream, all that kind of stuff can be kind of hard to keep up with, I understand. So that is definitely a great place to get there. I have built an 81 overall expansion team with an absolutely terrible offense and at least somewhat decent defense with really good special teams. So that is the kind of team that I built here in this expansion little sim run thing that I've done. I'm not going to sim this season, but this would be the schedule if the Freaks were to play their inaugural season. Again, if it's something you want to see potentially be done on the channel, even if just for, you know, one to ten seasons or whatever in a sim format where I do like maybe two, three videos and it's like a little mini series just to kind of see how the games were back in the day, if that's something you want to see, or if you want to see like a little look at Madden 2003 or 2004 or any other Madden, potentially let me know in the comment section below i'm open to just about anything right now obviously marlins is the main series on the channel but i'm looking to potentially bring another series and you'll see some series ideas coming to you in the coming days i will present to you ideas and proposals for things that maybe could be series if your support is there so look out for that if you want to see some more franchise again twitch discord in the description but if you want to see more franchise click right here to see more Build you somehow